Hey, Sandy here with another marriage tip for you. Save room for dessert. I'll be right back. All right, so how many times have you gone through your day and you've got kids to deal with, you've got work to deal with, you've got in-laws to deal with, or maybe it's friends, uh, people in life that you have responsibilities for, you're volunteering at church, you're volunteering at school, and you're doing extra um, hours outside of work to catch up on a project. And then the end of the day comes and it's, uh, it's time to spend time with your spouse and you've got a headache. How many times has that person been told, I've got a headache, or I'm not feeling good, or I've had a rough day, I just want to go to bed, I want to go to sleep. And I, like, I've been guilty of it. I think everybody out there has, because we give all of our time and attention to everything but our spouse sometimes. And so what I want you to think about today is what things are getting in the way of having dessert. What things are you doing in your day that's exhausting you to the point where at the end of the day when it's time to spend quality time with your spouse, you don't have anything left to give. You don't want to talk. You don't want to do anything. And, and that's just not fair to your spouse. It's not fair that they are to be your first priority and you've spent all of your day focusing on all these other charitable things, which they may be really great things but they're taking over. And so you wanna find balance. I want you to think about if your day, if you find yourself regularly coming up with excuses as to why you're tired or worn out or, or not in the mood, all of those things, is it something that's just wearing you out throughout the day that you needed to reprioritize? Are there things about your life that maybe you're seeking to please others or be that super mom or be that super volunteer and you're, you're so worked up about pleasing all these other people that the first person you're supposed to make sure is happy all the time is your spouse, your husband, your wife. You want to make sure that, that their needs are met. And if you can't meet their needs, then those other things need to, to start being put to the side. You need to find ways to cut some of those things out if that's what it takes so that you can have energy and have a good attitude when it's time to have time with your spouse. Think about that today. What is it that's getting in your way? What can you do to change that? What can you do to reprioritize your day so that you make sure that you save time for dessert? Have a great day. I hope this helps you. I hope you enjoy your dessert. Please click like, subscribe to my page, and share with others. Have a great day.